How do we measure our value? Well, here is one really great example from my world of real estate investments. Value is determined by what someone is willing to pay. So if I put a house on the market for say $2 million and no offers are made after a reasonable time, the price will have to be reduced because clearly it's not worth $2 million. So how do you value yourself? And the more important question is, how does God determine your value? Do you mean anything to him? Welcome to Morning Tea. In our sin, we have no value and we know it. Statistics continually show how badly we think of ourselves, how low our self-esteem is. But God paid a ransom for our lives. The action of regaining or gaining possession of something in exchange for payment or clearing a debt. We have been redeemed at the highest price by Jesus' suffering and death. And because of that, we have great worth in the eyes of God. When we identify it is not in the way that we decide it is in Him and the perfect way that He sees us through Jesus. We're valuable because when we believed in Jesus, God bought us. He cleared our sin debt and then He started working in us. He started making an investment into us. It's sort of like when your child was born, brand new, helpless, knowing nothing, completely dependent on you for everything, you began to invest your life into them. And you taught them and trained them and you guided them with discipline and with love. And when they grow up, or if you have little ones still, and when they grow up, you hope to enjoy a relationship of mutual love and friendship. And we've been given gifts, really good stuff, that the whole world kills for and can never find to any satisfying degree. How about real peace of mind? Even though the whole world is on the brink and falling apart, we can feel peace and not terror. How about joy? Not fleeting and temporary happiness, but a constant, calm sort of a joy. How about love? Not the passionate, emotionally charged lust that often turns into hate, but real love that suffers long and is patient and is kind. These are the real gifts from God to His redeemed people that He loves. And it's the life experience He wants us to have that no money or fame can buy. Another wonderful gift through our faith in Jesus is direct access to the throne room of the King of the universe in heaven any time. We have the right to just march in and have a chat with our dad. We can ask for forgiveness and clear our weighed down conscience. We can plead on behalf of people we love who are in trouble, who are hurting and who we're just aching for. We can get counsel for the difficult things and challenges that we're going through in our life. And we can ask him to move the big mountains blocking our way. These are the things that help us to know we have immense value and that our life is worth living with all the difficulties that we have. And since we have such great value, we can know that everything we think, say and do matters. Everything matters. It means something and it will go somewhere and bring a result, good or bad. So therefore we make our moments and days count so that we can live up to that wonderful inheritance that's been promised. On this program, I don't really go much into culture issues or politics. I, um, I think we have to keep in mind that our home is heaven. I personally have citizenship in two countries, but neither really are my home. So I don't get overwrought with the pop goings on of planet Earth. I also noticed that Jesus didn't seem to get worked up when he addressed a political question about paying taxes to the occupying Roman forces. And he just simply said, give to Caesar what's his, give to God what is God's. But we are instructed to obey the laws and to respect and pray for our leaders so that we can live in peace if possible. So to finish up my point on culture, particularly the Western world today, there is an intensifying war on all good sense. Um, we currently have our freedom and a vote, which is a possession and a gift and, and a privilege too. So I believe that we have a great responsibility to, um, to know what's going on and to wisely utilize this power that we have, but also to keep a balanced view as to our world, which is passing away, it's coming to an end, and the more important eternal life we're inheriting. As our culture collapses, more and more people will sink into despair and they need to hear good news, not the churning up of the destructive bad news that flows constantly. Well, that's it for now. Do you have any thoughts about our true worth and value? Please write them in the comment section below. And remember, look for the blessings. They are all around us. And stand up for the truth every chance you get. Thank you for being here. Don't go without subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.